The vaccines that have been approved are safe. There are three important points to bear in mind. The first is the rapid speed in which the vaccines were developed for COVID occurred because of uh, very major advances in the science, in the manufacturing, as well as the huge amounts of funding that were put in to support vaccine development by governments, by industry and by not-for-profit organisations. So the process is much faster, but the standards that are being applied to the process, to the evaluation, is kept very high, if not higher. So the second point to note is that uh, there are regulatory agencies such as the Health Sciences Authority in Singapore that look very carefully at the data for each vaccine. They apply uh, high international standards to review the safety, the quality and the effectiveness of every vaccine. We also have an expert committee on COVID-19 vaccination that also looks at the safety and effectiveness data of uh, the different vaccines for rollout in Singapore. Any vaccine approved for use in Singapore will have met high safety standards, quality standards and effectiveness standards. So when you are invited to come forward for vaccination, uh, you shouldn't have to worry about choosing which particular vaccine you will be receiving. But we should also know that uh, the different vaccines have different logistical requirements. So it will make it very complicated if uh, individuals were to choose which vaccines they want. It is very important that even after vaccination, that we continue to wear a mask and continue to adhere to safe distancing measures. This is because the vaccination rollout will take some time and during that period, there will be many in Singapore who are still not protected and they will be susceptible to infection should an outbreak occur. Vaccination will be rolled out progressively, but initially because supplies will be limited, there will have to be prioritisation. And the priority groups will be healthcare workers, people who are frontline responders, as well as those people in essential services. We will also be able to vaccinate the elderly beginning from end January of 2021. When your turn comes, you will receive an invitation letter to come forward for vaccination. So please do look out for that letter. And if you have any queries, you can consult this website or call this number. And if everything goes well, we expect to be able to offer vaccination to everyone in Singapore before the end of 2021.